This is the eighth video in a series intended to help you find records about your ancestors in Italy using the Family Search Research Wiki. This lesson will focus on finding the records of a marriage in church records. In Part 7a and 7b of this series, we began a case study on the family of Antonia Rossi. We found her baptism record, and in that baptism record, we learned that her father was Francesco Rossi, the son of Giuseppe Rossi, and that her mother was Celestio Parocco, the daughter of Antonio Parocco. We also found Celestia's baptism record and learned that her mother was named Antonia Polidoro. Our next step is to find the marriage record of her parents. Here's how we get to the marriage records of Vicenza. From this address, go to the Italy genealogy main page. Scroll down to the list of provinces. Choose the province of Vicenza. From the province page in the table of contents, you will click on church records. Here you will find a listing of online records that are available. We click on the link to those digitized records. This will bring you to an opportunity to use a search engine to search for marriages. We enter the name of Francesco Rossi. I'm not going to designate a spouse for him because we are looking for two marriages. We hope the marriage place was Cassoni. We found a child born for him in 1821. So I'm going to go two or three years earlier than that to find a marriage. His last child was born in 1827. And if that was the last child because of the death of his wife, he may have married a third time. So I'm going to extend that marriage range to 1840. And here we have marriages to the two wives that we have identified. In 1824, we have his marriage to Celestia Parocco, who was the mother of Antonia that we started with. And then we have his previous marriage to Pasqua Pasquoto. Francesco's parents are listed, although this tofio is a misreading by the indexer. Next, click on this view. Notice that it is telling us the age and the birth year and the parents of the groom, the age, the birth year, and the parents of the bride. This link will take you to the original record, which you always want to look at because it will provide much more information. With the help of the wiki, it's very easy to translate Italian church records. You don't need to be fluent in Italian. This Italian genealogical word list will have all the words that you need to know. The links you need will be posted in the notes below this video. So, let's read this record. Here is the date of the wedding. Here we have Francesco Rossi of Tofio, the son of Giuseppe. This means and of Maria Zarpellone. So that's his mother. We have his birthplace here. And we have his birth date. He is the widower of Pasqua Pasquota. This is the death date of his first wife. Then we have the information on the bride. She is Celestia Parocco, the daughter of Antonio Parocco and Antonia Polidoro. It says that she was born in this parish and it gives her birth date. There's a lot of information here on witnesses and you'll want to look at those because they may have additional clues, but I'm not going to translate that whole thing. I chose a case study from the parish of San Rocco in Casoni, Vicenza, because it's one of the few church records that is available online. More and more will become available and will be digitized, so we're going to take a little side trip here, and I'll show you how to check the Family Search catalog to see if your records become available. Click on this link. Click on places within the province. Choose your town, then the topic church records, then the title of the record. Scroll down to the film notes. On the left, you will see the events. 
births and baptisms. You want to scroll down to matrimony, which is marriages. Then find the time period you are interested in. Then you can click on one of these icons. The camera means that digital images are available. The magnifying glass means that it has been indexed. The vast majority of church records are still maintained by the local churches and will require writing to the priest. Part 10 will train you in writing letters for genealogical research. Now you try it. Study the Italy province page for your ancestors' home and see if church records are available online. Also, check the family history catalog to see if there are church records available for your ancestors' hometown. If you determine that there are no records online and you need to write for them, go to the 10th video in this series, Writing to a Priest for Genealogy Research.